you guys have no idea how annoying it is to wake up to this. So lucky for me, they started building on my doorstep and I get to record and show you guys from start to finish how this is going to look like. So once upon a time, this was my lovely eerie doorstep out on the outskirts of Hergesa. But as you can imagine, Hergesa is expanding immensely. So even my outskirts suddenly started looking like a town with houses popping up everywhere around the corner. In this case, popped up on my doorstep. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you guys from start to finish all the little bits of information that mamas learned along the way of building houses. From laying out the foundation to Qasim the Sibird, I thought that they would show you guys every angle of whatever I can get my camera on to give you insider view perspective of what it looks like to build your house from start to finish here in Hergesa Somaliland. So once you have a foundation laid, the next part of the process is buhis. Buhis is typically just pouring uh, any amount of sand, dust, rock into the foundation to fill it up to make it level. If you notice, this truck has come by in this time lapse of exactly 20 times we counted. And each truck of buhis costs up to $13 or 150 So don't start counting your pennies now. I'll, I'll let you guys know at the end of the video the final cost of this Nusblod twin house build. At the Saski Markle, the May Buhis Balokai, Buhis Kana Illa Illa Watan, Skruga or Buhis Ebaimin, Skruga Walbana Wahika, Kadesa Illa Yo, Pokolio Content Land, Ama Satahi Toman Dollar. How you can I start in Bolivia water? What's the situation? Through the roof. Then Shubali, the Afghan Hiras, Marcus Kalson. So next, as Mom mentioned, to Strengthen the foundation, you have to call for a birla. Birla is just the guy that works with metal strictly. His only job is to bend metal. Birla. So once you have your birla, you will call him uh, to set up the pieces of metal. Then the wastads will take it from there and continue to structure the foundation. You must leave it for a full day. And the following day, you can start to level your bricks. So brick making or ordering bricks there's two ways you can do this you can either have the bricks made on your property which saves you a significant amount of money or you can simply call and order as many bricks as you need per day you will end up having to pay uh, all the labor costs for bringing the bricks back and forth and every truck that you call needs to be paid as well so we highly recommend taking the option to make the bricks on your property that's if you have spare property for this house if we use this place as an example they don't have that option because they're Whole plot is being built so there's no other place for them to do the brick making so their only option is to purchase bricks <laughs> Now this is easily the most fascinating part of the whole build. It's when the Nichars get to work. Nichar is the woodworker. He his job is literally to only work with wood, uh, i.e. carpenters. So he hops on the houses like a monkey. I kid you not, it looks like fear factor watching them do this, but they are some of the most sophisticated workers. So once they get your roof on, uh, we've mentioned in a previous video when we were building our own house, you don't want to paint it right away. I was wondering how they do this. They're not monkeys, you know. Yeah. 
So here's one of our most legendary Wodani style house decorations. The front facing decor of the houses you've seen in all of our house hunting videos is typically these chunks of rocks that are being placed in geometric formation. It's a local skill. You'll notice that the few people that do this job are significantly older. So I do hope that these artists have passed down their skill to a younger generation because this is a classic Somaliland look across the streets. An extremely labor intensive job. As you can see, this guy is hammering every piece of rock. They call it so they are literally carving the surface of the rocks to get them whiter the dark yellow mustard above and after they are done knocking every piece of wood you get this beautiful shade of white as you can see the edge detailing on this house you need to call you farshahan farshahan means detailer these are the guys who honestly they take way too long but what they're doing is the most important part of the beauty of your home so you keep your patience in your pocket for that one and, and get the best farshahan in town you'll probably have a hard time looking for one but it's not as complicated as you think just go look at any beautiful house knock on their door and ask them hey who was your farshahan i'm sure they'll give you a recommendation so I hope this video was helpful. I've learned all these little tidbits and most importantly, I've learned people's titles. It's hard to figure out people's titles if you are not on the grounds and working in a construction environment. So I thought I put together this little video to give you guys a little bit of a foundation, a base of what it's like to start building your home. There's two ways you can do this. You can simply call a contractor and they will take roughly 17,000 per house. If you notice this house, is a nus blood, which means it's half of the full blood. It's half of a typical 18 by 24 house. They've split it into two and they've created two twin houses inside. If you ask me, it's way too small, but, but I didn't put together this video to promote any particular company. I want to promote the do-it-yourself aspect of Somaliland. Obviously, I've said it a million times and Hoy and I will say it again. This is a do-it-yourself nation. So get on the ground, get involved in your house making and you can do it. And actually, you can save yourself up to $10,000 off of that contracted price. So if you've got the guts, hard will and strength to stand in the hot sun every single day and watch your house being built, you will come out of it $10,000 richer. How about that? How's that sound? Okay, guys. Well, if you like the video, comment below. Let me know if you want to see more when it comes to Dismo. If you need to see any of our expertise and property builds, you will have to do more videos about that. If you're interested in educational topics like this, please, please join us on our Patreon page where we have a community of like-minded individuals coming together, watching different views, exclusive videos of our motherland and our farm journey. And let's most importantly not forget studying about permaculture and how we can make a difference in our dry drought land. Click the link below if you want to see more of the content like this.